I'm Nicolette today I'm going to show you how to draw a cute robot. Now you'll find if you look through my um, YouTube channel or I think it's under art and drawing playlist you'll find some more robots on there uh, but this one today is going to be a cute one I'll show you a picture I've already had a go at I've sketched it and then I've done it on the computer so I'm just going to draw that one um, actually if you like robots, I have wrote and illustrated some children's books. One here, and this one has got the robots in, and these ones are actually the ones you'll find in my shop. So we've got those ones. They're looking quite evil there, but there's pictures of them as well where they're friendly. There we go. Helping out there. So that one, which is a sci-fi um alien-y, um, coming of age, adventure, it's got a lot in it that one, suspense, and then there's this one which is a bit of a comedy um, because this pirate here is called Captain Cuthbert and it's a series, they have a, I have done a series with him and he's a very bossy, he's very greedy um, and he's, he's not a very likeable character but he always gets his comeuppance. So, what happens is here is a drone and he has ordered a robot which, grant, which will do any command that he asks. So, you can imagine how wrong that's going to go. But it's quite a funny one, more of a comedy. It's, um, yeah. So, let's get cracking. Let's shift them out of there. Let's put this in front, the one I've already drawn. There we go. Right. So, if you use a pencil, then make, when you make mistakes, um, you can rub it out and then go over with a pen. I'm just going to use a pen because then you can see what I'm drawing. Um, normally, I sketch like that, and then if I make a mistake, I'll just rub it out. So, let's go. Let's see if I can do it. Here we go. So, cute robot today. We're going to start with, what shall I start with? Start with the head. I'm just going to draw a nice curve. Do it curves, it makes it look a little more gentle rather than sharp edges. So, nice round curves. It might be a bit hard to I would turn the page. Let's draw the next bit. Okay, and then we'll do another nice curve again. Just looks softer. Right, so his neck. So, what I'm going to do to make it easier is I'm going to draw a little bit with pencil. This just makes it a lot easier for you um, because I need him to have a mo neck that's flexible. So, we've got that with the pencil, that's the outline of the neck. Now, what we're going to do now. If you've seen your hoover cord, uh, like your hoover suck up bit with the cord is, I don't know what you actually call them, you'll notice that they are flexible and can move around. So that's what I'm going to use on this, just like you see on a hoover. We're going to do the same on the arms, but I think drawing the body might be better. Now I'm not going to draw it square like that one, I'm going to come in just to make it look a little bit more interesting. So we're going to start with a nice rounded corner here. And we're going to go on. Oh, I've got the next one still in there, doesn't it? I need to bring it down, but I'll do that in a second. So we're going to go all the way across. Okay. Like that rounded corner, and I'm going to come in. So I'm going to draw a line down. Right, and then I'm going to round again. Okay, so all the way round. And I'm going to have to turn my paper now, sorry. And I'm going to come across the end there. And I'm going to have a nice rounded corner again. And then I'm going to join like that. So there we go. There's the body. Now I need another bit of the, um, what do you call, I don't know, hoover holes? I'm not sure. Right, so I'm going to do these. So this is so the arm can move around 
that's what I've done now and then we're going to draw some more of the um, hoover cards so if you're using a pen already if you're brave you know <laughs> there we go I'm just going to draw that because these are just guidelines okay I'm trying to get them quite level now it doesn't matter too much so there are your guidelines got your lines now we can put flexible bits on and still going into the guideline here just gets easier not easy to draw these straight off they might not perfect they should be the similar um what's it called distance apart so i'm going to do this side you might want to turn your paper on this side again so it's comfortable to your hand I've done mine a little bit thinner on this side actually. I'm sick of it now. Another tip I will show you in a minute. If you're drawing directly with a pen, you can smudge by accident. So what you can do, and it helps you move your hand as well. So if you put, that's the fairy is again, if you put something under, like under your hand, it stops in smudging and my hand drags like that, whereas You've got that there, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm not going to do that on mine because it's a distraction for you. So now we're going to do this. Because he wants grabbing hands. I'm going to do the same on this side. So we've got the rhythm going. 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 I just find it easy to draw both at the same time. So I just get the action right then. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to do the same on that side. In. And on that side. Then we're going to go up. And this is going to look a little bit like a house shape. We're going to go up again and down. And then connect and see a little bit like a house shape. There we go. And down. Right. So cute eggs. Let's have a look. Makes it a bit more interesting doing a different shape rather than just straight down. There we go. I'm trying to get them to look the same or similar. Now I'm going to do rounded corners then for his little feet. Because he's cute. There we go. I've actually done it right this time. I've got to make sure I do the eye right. Because I always draw that one first and then you can't see when you draw that one. So I always start on the um, this is a trick as well, I'm dyslexic, so I have to do that because it makes a letter L. So yeah, <laughs> every time when people give me directions, I have to do that. It's embarrassing, but it works. So there we go. That's that one. Now eyes. So I'm going to start with this one, as I said before, if I start with it, if I'd have started that one, what that one can't speak. And when I draw that one, it will cover it up so it's easier to start with this one. I'm just going to sketch it first. So the reason I'm using a pencil is because I keep botching. So I'm going to sketch it first. And then like so, so I can see where we are. So I know what I can do to do the underlines, but I might as well do the inside ones at the same time. Because I've sketched it first, it's makes it a bit easier for me now to make sure I get them right. So I'm just going to draw some little bit more sketches. There we go. This makes it a lot easier. Like I said, I just use a pencil straight off. I always use a pencil. shine on the eyes okay because they can be cross-eyed that lets them look short as well so right i'm going at this alien is an alien with a conscience alien 
Oh, that's the last one I did. This robot, isn't it? <laughs> robot and alien obviously robot with a conscience um so he knows right from wrong so he's, he's a nice he knows that robots have to be told what to do and follow commands like that one in that book um so they are programmed to follow the command of their master whereas this one has his own personality and he is able to know right from wrong and he's a nice one, so he's got to give him a love, love heart. So we need an... Are they called... I don't know what they're called. Is it a radar? Like a signal? Is that what they're called? I'm not quite sure. Just adds a little bit of interest. Now, to make it look like it's getting signals, you could either do zigzags. Or just do... Now, these you can use for movement. So... I don't really want my um, robot's arms moving, but if I did want them to look like they were moving, I'd do a little one and a big one, and it look, makes it look like it's moving. So, I think that your tear's done. Well, there he is. A right cute robot. So, what I'd like is, I, as I said, I'm a writer and an illustrator, and I write children's books. I've got my own page on Facebook. So I'd love to see your pictures and if you send them to me I will share them on my page. Um, and thank you very much for watching. You'll find all the details in the description below. So you'll find where my Facebook is and my books. Um, and um, what else is there? There is actually a book that you can listen to. Or I, unfortunately you've got me reading it but you get to see all the pictures so you can listen to the whole book. It's called... Captain Cuthbert and the Cobra Jam, and yes, he gets a relic that can can command him, well, grant him actually, no, three wishes. So yeah, that's going to go terribly wrong as well. So you can listen to that, it's free, and you get all the pictures at the same time. Um, and you don't have to read, which is good. <laughs> so... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your pics and I will share them on my page and hope to see you next time.